Good morning. Thought we'd have a quick look at my 4 kilowatt tracked solar array. Inverter in the foreground. And in the background you can see the panels, which are 16 250 watt panels mounted on eight separate mounts of two panels each. Um, basically interconnected with the system's quite simple. There's a post in the ground, a trailer hub wheel bearing and wheel rim on the top. And the panels are mounted onto those. They are also adjustable for different angles for the time of the year. The wires are all tensioned up with turnbuckles or bottle screws, whatever you prefer to call them. The drive system, well, if we start with the brain, which is this uh, Red Rock solar tracker module, uh, that sends the signal down to the motor. Uh, staying at this end though, this is the final drive of the gear. A limit switch for the western extremity and another one for the eastern extremity. And as you can see, we're off that at the moment. The wooden post is the actual limit switch stopper. And the drive system consists of a row of old bicycle sprockets, which I got from a bicycle shop, which they were throwing out. The motor is a Suzuki Swift windscreen wiper motor and a 12 volt motorcycle battery and as you can see it's receiving a signal from the tracker unit every few seconds and the drive ratio well it starts off at 50 rpm by the time it's been reduced through the gearing system uh, right down onto the the final gear which is this wooden rim which was actually part of the part of the cable where the cable came from that is fixed at a point somewhere at the far end there underneath that post. Uh, we've got a reduction such that the whole assembly takes about 25 minutes to go from east to west. And at the moment working extremely well because we've got a lovely bit of sunshine.